All right, my friends, greetings. Mr. Rezac here, and uh, I'm going to take you through how to create your uh, augmented reality book pages for our particular uh, Daiquiri Studio uh, project. Um, you're going to need three things with you. The uh, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need your green screen clip. Um, so you're going to have to go to the, fo the folder that says Macbeth 4D green screen, uh, download that clip. And I've already downloaded mine. Mine is clip number eight right here. Uh, then you're going to go ahead and get your clip from the play that has your character in it. Um, so go ahead and open that and download that from Google Drive. And I have mine over here, you can see. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and open those and show those in the Finder. And the third thing you're going to need is your illuminated manuscript. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And uh, let's see. All right. Now, I'm going to do this first because um, uh, it's kind of the first thing we need to do. Now, when you open your illuminated manuscript, it needs to be a certain aspect ratio. Okay? It's probably pretty big. You're going to go to adjust size. Now, really. Um, this is kind of how big it looks when you first open it up. It's about 2300 pixels or something like that. Something really, really big. Um, now I'm using a Mac, but if you're doing this on a PC, you're going to open it using Microsoft Paint. Okay? Um, and you're going to change the aspect ratio. Um, in my case here, I'm going to go 700 uh, by 900 pixels. And then Microsoft Paint, um, there's a, it's a little different. You're going to want to click the resize button. Uh, but there's also something you're going to notice here. Okay? On a Mac, I have to, I have to uncheck uh, the scale proportionally um, button because um, otherwise it will be um, not scaled proportionally. So I wanted to, uh, I don't want it to scale proportionally. Uh, and I want it 700 by 900 pixels. It will morph a little bit, but it won't look that bad. It won't look that different. And on a PC, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to uncheck the box that says Maintain Aspect Ratio. Okay? So now I've got an image. It's an illuminated manuscript. Uh, and the size is 700 by 900 pixels. Okay? Good. Now I've got that. All right. The next thing I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and log in to Daiquiri Studio. So I'm going to go to sign in using the Dan account. Um, you can ask me for the password. Okay. And now you get to this page that has all the different projects. You're, you're going to create a new project, but not yet. What I'd like you to do first is go to the library. Okay. Um, we need to upload our video to the library first. Okay. So I'm going to go to Upload Files and find my clip number 8 which should be uh, here somewhere. There's clip number eight. Okay. And open that. And uh, we're going to save that. Okay. Now, I actually did this before, so uh, if it doesn't load, it's because there's a duplicate. Uh, the next thing I want to do is get my second video, which is uh, MAH something something. Now, here's the problem. Daiquiri Studio only accepts videos that are 100 megabytes or less. Here's what I would suggest. Open your video, okay? And it's better if you do this in QuickTime Player, but you could use, like, uh, if you're using the PC, you could use um, Microsoft Movie Maker. All you need to do is shrink this video, and right now this is a very high-quality video. I'm going to go ahead and export this video to 480p. Okay, and you're going to see what happens here. Um, I'm going to put 480 on the end and put it on my desktop. Okay, I'll call this Macbeth. Okay, I'm going to save that. All right, that's going to shrink this thing down probably by half. All right, I'll close that up and I'll open that for you so you can see how many, how much, what's the difference? It's only now 24 megabytes. It's shrunk it down a whole bunch. And you can see the difference um, if I open it up. 
you see that doesn't need to be super big for this project so that's great I'm gonna go to upload files and I'm gonna add that file 480 and it's a .mov and Daiquiri Studio loves .mov files so it's gonna eat that up uh, I'm gonna wait here for that to encode and then I'm gonna get on to the building the project okay I'm gonna pause and I'll be right back okay so those are both uploaded clip number eight and Macbeth 480 is ready um, always do that first before you start your project okay I'm gonna go back to my projects page and I'm gonna go ahead and add content the what we're gonna do is add a publication uh, and use that template okay I'm gonna go ahead and say next I need to drag a content image this is basically your trigger image for this particular project so I'm gonna go and get my illuminated manuscript uh, image which is right here and it's 900 uh, 700 by 900 um, that's the trigger file I'm gonna go next and I'm not gonna share it with anybody I'm just gonna hit save so that takes a second or two for that to um, upload but should be ready and now I'm gonna go and open the designer okay Okay, so now you have your trigger image, and this is going to be the picture on the book, uh, or the, the, in the book page, that allows us to uh, see the interactive content. Okay, I'm going to go, uh, don't mind me, I'm just going to open up another page here, and uh, I'm going to open up my other example, so you can see, um, this is my working example that I've shown students already, uh, and I'm, gonna ma I'm making a new one here. So the first thing I want to do is go find my green screen video, okay? And to put in video that I uploaded, I'm going to hit this video button right here and drag it to the spot where I want the video to show. All right, for this to work nicely, I want to, I'm going to open it up as, as big as I can so there's a good amount of quality there. Try to keep the aspect ratio. And then notice how I line it up right at the edge of the page. That way when you're talking, uh, it will look like you're just kind of popping out of the bottom of the book. Okay, so now I want to go get my video for that. Now, uh, um, by going to my library, I've already uploaded it. So um, let's go and grab that that video. And I believe the video was clip number eight. Okay, it's okay if it's resized. We're going to open up again. There you go. Move it around. All right, so now this is the size and placement. You can leave that free. Um, and there's a couple things we want to add here. One of them is called chroma key. If we don't use chroma key, it won't make the gr green background disappear. Uh, so this is one of the most challenging parts about this particular part of the video. Uh, and it will require us to play with the hex color and the threshold until we get it just right. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and start this now. Okay, um, there's a couple ways for you to find the, the actual hex color, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for you, and we're going to use this as a template. If this color doesn't work, then what we'll end up doing is, um, well, I'll, I'll help you with it, basically, um, if this one doesn't work. So I'm going to go and uh, open, up my, uh, open up my video, um, and... I think I have clip number eight, right? So I'm gonna open my video. And what I do here is I do a little uh, screen cap of the green screen background, okay? And I'll show you how and why I do that in a second. Sometimes the lighting is different video to video and the, it, the, the color changes. So for right now, uh, I'm gonna take a screen cap of that and I'm gonna go and open up, uh, now I use Keynote, but you might wanna open up uh, PowerPoint uh, to use the eyedropper tool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab my green screen shot here and I'm going to add a shape, just a button shape, something like that. The great thing about the Mac is, and I know the PC too, has an eyedropper tool. So if I add a shape, whether it's on PowerPoint or whether on Keynote, I can um, 
So each of them has kind of a paint dropper tool. And what I usually what I do is I, I drag the image into uh, PowerPoint or into Keynote, and then I grab a shape. Uh, and what I do is I'll, I'll either you know right click uh, if you're in um, if you're in Keynote, it's it's easy because I can just go to Format and then uh, basically look at the different uh, colors and use my color picker tool. Okay, um, and I'll show you how I do that here. Uh, I'm just going to use a regular color fill and then go to my color picker. And then what I can do is grab the exact color. And the thing, the nice thing about uh, um, Keynote and PowerPoint is that it'll give you the WebSafe version of that. So that's 33CC99. All right, so you can use that in your first example. 33CC99. There we go. So I'm going to say your threshold. Uh, again, this is something you'll have to play with. But for now, let's use what I used in my other example, uh, which was, oh, look, um, the colors are pretty close, 0 0.20625. So what I've used here is um, 0 0.20625. All right. Again, this may not be the perfect uh, threshold. We will have to play with it later. Okay, and let me double check my chroma key, 33CC99. Okay, it's pretty good. All right, so the start options for the video is it's going to it play immediately. It's the first thing people see when they load up your um, uh, your augmented reality image. Okay, um, the next thing is uh, we can put play pause. So if they actually touch the image uh, or the video while you're talking, that'll pause it. And then ending objects will just do no effect, no no big deal there. Okay. Um, that's good for that. For the moment, I'm just going to save that. Okay. The next thing I want to do is add my video up here of uh, my second video. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to grab another video. Okay. So before I resize any of that, what I'm going to do is go and go to my library and find the one I just uploaded called Macbeth 480, okay? Because it resizes anyway. Now it keeps the ac aspect ratio of the video, which is nice. And I'm going to put this way off, kind of like off to the side. Remember, if I'm on an iPad or on an iPhone or something, um, it's virtual reality. So I can look and see a lot more depth uh, in that case. So I've got that video, and in this case, no chroma key. Start options are going to start when the video is initially going to be paused. Touch options are going to be play pause, and then ending options, no effect, um, and that's fine. We want to make sure that this video uh, doesn't play at the same time the other video plays. Okay, So that one's pretty much ready uh, to go in its current position. The third thing I need to do is add a link button for my other resources link, okay? And to do that, we can go over here and drag a button, okay? And when you drag a button, uh, you can tell it to do a number of different things. Um, we're going to go ahead and use one of their preset buttons, which is right here. And we're going to use the link button right there. So it's going to they're going to see uh, basically a blue button that, that's a link button here. And we want to tell this link to go somewhere. Um, and so we need to tell it where to go. And for this, I think um, I'm going to use this as a just as an example. But um, there's a good resource called ShakespeareOnline.com, which basically is kind of like a Wikipedia for Shakespeare characters. Uh, and I like it a lot. Um, you should look to see if your video or if your uh, character is there because um, we can use that as a resource. So I'm going to copy that. And um, 
I'd, I'd prefer, you know, I would suggest not using Wikipedia in this case, just because it shows your strength that you can find other resources. It's just one of those things. Um, so I'm going to copy that and paste that into this right down here. Okay, here's my site. Okay. Um, and it's going to go to a URL, and I'm going to save that. Okay. So really, right now, since we don't know if the gr we don't know if the green screen is going to work yet, we haven't played with the threshold, and we haven't played with the um, uh, with the chroma key. But for right now, we need to publish it so we can test it. The only way to test that green screen is to go ahead and publish it, and then um, see if the threshold and the uh, chroma key are the right colors. So. For now, if you can't find the right chroma key color for yours, just go ahead and use this color, 33CC99, with this threshold, and we're going to see if that's a good place to start. Okay? I'm going to pause and wait for this to uh, um, preview for me. Okay, so I just uh, wanted to check with you, uh, uh, and I have just checked to see, and it looks like my target and everything is published, so it should be live. Okay, um, and I'd love to show you how this looks. I'm going to try to find a way for me to screencast it. Um, I will do that in just a moment. Okay, so here I am, and what I've done is I am um, going to use this as my trigger image, and I'm going to um, open up Daiquiri. You guys can grab an iPad to do this. Uh, first time should take a little, uh, little extra time uh, for it to load, but give it, you're gonna hold this up there for a minute or two, and I'll show you. Hopefully this isn't. Uh, uh, hopefully this works. All right. So you'll know it works when you see that blue, the blue thing happening in the top. That means it's loading something. The first time you do this, it might take an extra second for all the video to load. What are these so withered and wild in their attire that look not like the inhabitants of the earth? And yet there aren't. Live you, or you ought that manly question. Oh, hello. I'm Banquo from Shakespeare's Macbeth. See a scene from Banquo from the play. That's Click perfect. I'm going to pause it. Now there's a little bit of green screen left up on the top. This is where you need to go back in and um, play with your threshold. Literally just a little bit. Move it up, move it down a little bit. You can see the other videos are up there. It says to play that video. You press up there and then you can see that video. And that's your other character. And then here's a link to other content. You click the link and it takes you to ShakespeareOnline.com. All right. So that is how it should look, and that's actually pretty, a pretty darn good example. Um, hopefully all of our green screens um, work as well as that, but that's pretty good. All right, so I'm back just for one more second. So uh, I'm gonna tweak this green screen uh, just so that we can see how that, uh, how that looks. Um, so let me go ahead and um, click on my green screen video, which is down here, okay? Uh, now remember, there was a tiny little bit of green screen left. And what we want to do is kind of get rid of that. So it's going to take us either dialing it up or dialing it down a, a, a little bit. Um, and then republishing our, um, our uh, image uh, and our interactive. So for this, I'm going to go to point one eight, And I'm going to go up to Publish and Republish it. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to my image right here and reload it. What are these so and wild All right, so in order to reload it, I kind of have to click off of it for a minute and then go back. All right, so I just republished it. All right, so that's not good. I've got more green screen. All right, I don't want more green screen. I want less. So I, I'm going to bring my threshold. Uh, since I brought it down to 1.8, I'm going to bring it up to uh, 0.21. All 
Uh, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing that point two two is probably uh, the best place to put it. But I'm going to bring it up to point two one, publish it again, and then this is where you kind of have to play with it back and forth. Um, re reload it. Hit just click on the link button, and then I'm going to go back. And let's see. It's almost gone. Okay. I'm going to go to point two two and republish it. And uh, we're going we're gonna to see how good we are at that point. Um, all right. So it says my target is still processing. Might need another extra second. So I'm going to pause and then... Uh, Okay, so this is the final thing. I'm going to show it to you one more time. The final readout for this particular clip was point was uh, let's say hex color 33CC99 and threshold 0.23. I'll show you the how the final video came out. I'll try to do a little closer for you. Okay. All right. All right, you see how that total green screen removal looks like he's popping up right out of the video, and then you've got your video above and your link above, and uh, it's perfect. All right, so again, takes a little play, um, but good luck and have fun with it.